Hey guys, this is Andrew from the Minecraft tutorial, and today we are going to be talking about how to set up a Minecraft server. On your screen right now, you have three options. Uh, the top one is how to set up a Minecraft server using the .exe middle, how to set up a Minecraft server using the .jar, and the bottom. Some common issues with setting up a Minecraft server. So go ahead and pick one of those uh, if you have annotations on. If you don't, turn annotations on. It's the little button on the bottom right of your video screen. Go ahead and select one. So you want to set up a Minecraft server using the .exe. Awesome. Here we go. We are going to go to minecraft.net. Over here in the right side, you will see a download button where my mouse is. Press that download button. And down here, you'll see multiplayer server. And here's the .exe right here. We're going to click it, download it. And we are going to show it in our folder. There we go. Now, let's, ju let's just put that on the desktop. And we are going to make a new folder. And we're going to name it... Uh, we'll just name it Tutorial. There we go. And we're going to take our Minecraft server. And if I could drag and drop... I would like to drag it and stop messing up, mouse. My mouse is giving me fits. So now we have it inside of the tutorial folder. Let's open up the tutorial folder. There we go. And we will double click the server. Let it run. This is on version 1.4.4. And there we go. It finished. So now we should be able to connect to it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really that simple with the .exe. If you don't plan on installing mods, I really recommend the .exe. So there we are. I'm connected to my server. Everything's loading in, generating. Except for that corner right there. Let's go over there and jump on it. There we go. And that's all there is to create a Minecraft server with the .exe. Now if you had any issues with it, make sure you head over to the common issues section before you ask a question. But if you really can't figure it out, and it's some really random thing, then ask me in the comments below. Make sure before you ask that you check the end of the video. All right. So you want to set up a server using the .jar file. I'm going to warn you. This is going to give you a whole lot more issues than using the .exe file. If you do not want mods, go use the .exe file. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, this is how to use um, a batch file to start your Minecraft server .jar. So here we go. We're going to go to Minecraft.net. Over on the right side, we're going to press download. Over here, under multiplayer server, you're going to see Minecraft server.jar all the way at the bottom. Go ahead and click on that. Download it. Open up the folder that it's in. And, oh gosh. I'm having so many issues with dragging and dropping. And there we go, we have our Minecraft server.jar. 
and we're going to drag and drop that into an empty folder. Right now we're going to be using the tutorial folder that we have already open. And that is not all you have to do. If you're using the .exe, that's all you would have to do. But you need to go in here, press uh, a new text document. That should be fine. And name it Run. There we go. Open up that text document. And inside of it, you are going to write this right here. I'm not going to read it all to you. It'll be in the description if you need to copy and paste it. But for right now, it's right here. All right. So here's my text file. I'm going to go to File, Save As. And instead of run.txt, we are going to name it run.bat. That is a batch file. It runs command code. Okay, we're going to save it. And now we have a nice batch file in our folder. You can double click the batch file and it will start your Minecraft server for you. I repeat, this is not the easiest way to do it. Go download the .exe if you don't plan on using mods. All right, but now we have a nice server that we ha that we can use. I'm gonna log into Minecraft and show you that it works. And there we are. Nice and easy. Break things. Let's take a look at me. Hi. And there we go. Easy peasy. Now. Yeah, I think that's it actually. Okay. So that is all it is. All there is to running a dot jar server. Alright, now that you've created your server, you want to connect to it, obviously. So, how do you do that? Well, you connect through your IP. Your IP address is an address that's given to your computer when you connect to the internet. Um, well, Andrew, what is my address? Well, it's re pretty easy to find, actually. Um, there are a couple ways to do it, but the easiest one is go to Google and type in my IP and right here at the top next to my cursor you'll see a black box um, that black box is my IP I have it censored but uh, I can clearly see it it's at the very top really easy to find uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that you're going to copy it You are going to open up Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft, where are you? There it is. Oh, hello, bunch of Minecrafts. All right, you're going to go to multiplayer, add server. We'll name this one my server, and you are going to paste the server address where it says server, you're going to paste your IP where it says server address. And when you do that, boom, you have a server that you can connect to if it is up. Easy as that. Okay, so you have issues. Um, on the screen right now, are a list of issues that will link you to different videos. Uh, if you have an issue that is not in this list, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will make another video to address your issue specifically. Yeah, okay. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave this screen up for a little bit more. 
so that uh, you have plenty of time to click on your issue if it's up here. But, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Remember to like and favorite this video, especially if it helped you. It really helps me. And, yeah.